Welcome, welcome, welcome to Angry Appliance Repair Person. For the record, you're looking at them. This particular presentation is going to be about the dishwasher. The dishwasher, a lot of people have complained that the older dishwashers made when we were really little tots, they cleaned the dishes better. Today, they say that these dishwashers run way too long and they don't even clean as well as the other ones did. Well, they do run longer, that is true. And that is actually, believe it or not, it's a good thing. I have a lot of homeowners that think the dishwasher runs two, two and a half hours. And they think that because it's running so long that it uses more power and more water. That is not true. The dishwasher, even though it runs two, two and a half hours for some cycles, it actually doesn't use more water or power because it is so efficient that even though it is running longer, the unit actually uses less water and power while it is running. So that actually causes it to save compared to something made in the 80s or 90s. So with that being said, there are a few things that you need to know to try to get your dishes clean. Number one, most important is soap. Soap is very important. When we used more water and more power, powder soap and liquid soap worked very well because we had lots of water and lots of power to make that soap dissolve. Well, we don't use a lot of water or a lot of power now. So now they recommend the tablets. I call them tablets. Some people may call them pods, whatever. But the tablets are what work. Now, the trick to the tablet is very simple. Everyone assumes that brand, I make this up, brand A tablet has one tablet. Brand B has one tablet. That is not true. Brand A could have three or four styles of tablets. Brand B could have three or four styles of tablets. You need to decide which tablet is best for your water supply. There is no real, no real formula, I guess I'll call it, of what the tablet, which one you shall use for which water you have. My opinion has been this. If you have a water softener, and your water softener softens the water with potassium or salt, then you can probably buy a cheap tablet because you already have soft water. So the tablet will dissolve better in the soft water and give you cleaner dishes. If your water is treated where you live in a city and you have city water, you might be able to get away with the medium grade tablet. If you have a well, I recommend you use the high grade tablet. Now, you can't go wrong with the high grade tablet the high grade tablet is very, very good. And most of the television commercials out there, they advertise the high grade tablet. They do not advertise the medium grade or the low grade. It's always the high grade because yes, it costs more money, but it works really well. When you have a good water and soap mix, your dishwasher will clean properly. So what that means is this, when you have a dishwasher with a good mix of water and soap. You never ever ever rinse your dishes before you put them in. That is silly. Don't do it. You leave the ketchup, the mustard, the barbecue sauce. Leave it on there. But your dishwasher is not a garbage disposal. So the noodles, the broccoli, the corn, that has to be scraped off into the trash before you put it in. But do not use water. Leave the dish dirty when you put it in. When you have a good mix with the soap from the tablet and the water and they mix together, the stuff will be clean. The dishes will come out cleaner than they've ever come before, especially if you choose to use the higher grade tablet. Those have worked very well for the customers that I have recommended them to. But there are three or four, brand A, brand B, whatever, three or four tablets for each brand. You must choose which one, but the more the better mix. You can't go wrong with the high grade tablet. You can't. I recommend that, but they do cost more. You must decide how much you want to spend. The rinse aid is basically used for drying. We save power. We have to. The government makes us do it. So we can no longer heat dishes dry anymore. Very few dishwashers, even though when you look at the display on the top of your dishwasher, it may say heated dry. Eh, eh, sorry, that's not really what it is. Because of the government law, a lot of times those heaters do not stay on for very long. They pulse off and on, off and on, and they don't heat the whole time because if they do, it violates the Department of Energy's 
electric guidelines. So they can't do that anymore. The dishwashers run so long because they use steam. They run for two, two and a half hours to generate steam. Once the steam is generated at the end of the cycle, then the steam rises from the bottom to the top and it dries the dishes. The rinse aid gets the water droplets off of there. So when they're off of there, it can dry them and they dry pretty well. Now I admit, plastic, not so much. Sometimes plastics, they are hard to dry. That is true. And if your glasses are concave in the, in the bottom and the water sits there, eh, not much you can do about that either. If the water just sits in those bumps and you just have to shake it off like I do. Sometimes my wife yells at me, I shake it off on the floor. I, yes, I'm not supposed to do that. But it actually works where you just shake it off. But the dishes come out very clean and the rinse aid helps eliminate the spots. The spots come from the steam rising up and drying the water droplets on the glasses and the silverware. You don't want that. You want the rinse aid to get rid of it. So when it gets rid of it, the steam can do its job. That's what it's supposed to do. So the soap tablets and the rinse aid are very important in new dishwashers. Without that, it is not going to clean very well at all. Now, most dishwashers have filters in the middle. Some filters you just wipe off with your hand or a paper towel. Some filters you need to turn, maybe 90 degrees, pull the filter out, wash it under the sink and put the filter back in. You want to keep the filter clean because you want that tiny little little motor in there to be able to circulate that water as well as it's able to to get your dishes clean. When that filter is full, it cannot circulate the water properly and you are not going to have very good water distribution. The last thing with a dishwasher, because we use so little water, they need to run long, as I said earlier, to generate steam. And they need to run longer because the arms of a dishwasher, most dishwashers will have two, maybe even three, a bottom, a middle, and a top. Those three arms do not run at the same time because we don't use enough water and enough power to do it. We use a device called, uh, 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 me and my old brain, smartest man in the house, what is that thing called? Oh, yeah, the diverter, thank you. The diverter. The diverter is used to divert the water to just the lower arm first. Then it'll switch to the middle arm. Then it will switch to the upper arm in some cases. Sometimes it's just the lower and the middle. It just depends on the brand. But it switches back and forth because we do not use enough water and enough power to be able to have the arms run at the same time. That is another reason why they take so long. So I have always been a fan of using what they call the automatic wash or the heavy wash. I am not a fan of the normal wash or anything lower than that because it does not build up enough steam to be able to dry better. And it doesn't run long enough because you're only running one arm at a time. So even though your dishwasher runs longer, I understand that, but even though it's running longer, you can get better results because you're only running one arm at a time. So it's concentrating that water at the bottom, then it's concentrating it in the middle. Unlike what it is trying to do both at the same time. We use less water, we use less power, therefore the dishwashers are quieter. But the problem is we need time to do that. That's why they need to run long. But they really do not use a lot of power or water. They just don't. So don't think it does just because it is running for a long time. So the only other thing I can say about this, about the dishwasher, is going to be loading. The manuals will tell you how to properly load your dishwasher. And to properly load your dishwasher, you properly load it the way the book tells you. Now, does everybody do it? No, I don't do it. I don't load the way the book tells me to. It's not practical. I understand that. But the main thing I tell my customers, my opinion is, if you have a bowl or a pot, and if you put that over and lay it onto the lower rack, so you put that pot right onto that lower rack where the water goes up into the pot, even though both arms run independently through the diverter, as I said. Still, the lower arm is closest to the diverter. That's the one that's going to have a little more power when it's running. So I recommend try to put the item vertical or on a 45. Do not put it down on a 90, all the way down because the water is just going to circulate inside and go back down. It will not have a chance to go up. 
that could cause something above it not to get this clean. So I tell my homeowners to not load things large, like a bowl or a pot, facing down on the lower rack. Try to angle it as best as you can so the water can distribute better. The only thing with dishwashers, and this is true with a lot of other appliances, but I'm going to pick on the dishwasher for this conversation. The government controls the water, power, and gas. You're going to hear me say that a lot. So because of that, there are things that companies do to try to help you, the homeowner, get better results. But the government does not want you to have the model set up for it. It is very important that you look in your use and care guide. I'll give you an example. There are a couple brands out there that have a different drying system that you can select. It is not automatic. It does not come on by itself. You must go into the menu, push a few buttons, bring up what they call the customer menu, and then choose the extra drying. They turn it off because the government doesn't want it on. But you, as the homeowner, if you read your book, can choose to turn on that extra drying or that extra washing and get a better result. Read the book. Your dishwasher may have some hidden features that do not appear on your display until you push some buttons to go into your menu. Read the book. It may help you get a better wash. So, or dry, either one. So the dishwashers that they make today do a very good job of cleaning. As long as you use the soap tablets, as long as you have your rinse aid dispenser filled, and as long as you load it properly, and possibly check your use and care guide to see if there's any hidden features that you can turn on to give you better results. So, our dishwasher in my house works just fine. The dishes come out cleaner than they ever have. If you follow those steps, I hope you will also have success. Now, for the senile thought each week, we have a little gentleman standing here tapping his foot. Why? Because, as I have said in previous presentations, people are losing their patience. We don't have patience anymore. When I was a wee little tot, and I wanted to know the baseball score, I could not find out that baseball score right away. I had to wait for the paper. I had to wait for it to be on the news. I had to maybe catch it scores on the radio. I would not be able to know right away what the score was. Well, because of this, appliances, cars, toasters, TVs, they're all trying to get faster, 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 faster because people don't want to wait. Same as my example with the dishwasher. People don't want to wait two hours. You have to have patience. New appliances, new televisions, new toasters, they normally take longer because they use less water power and gas, but the results can be the same. But you need patience, you need to wait. You can't be so rambunctious and want it done right away. Don't stand there with a bad attitude tapping your foot because you think that you are just not patient enough to wait five minutes for something to be done in the microwave or in a toaster. Patience. The dishwashers do a very good job as long as you have patience. Remember, don't always be in such a hurry. Sometimes having some patience is good. Gives you time to reflect on things, such as the senile thought each week that I am telling you right now. So, basically, please remember, slow down, take some time, have a little patience, let that dishwasher do its job, let that car warm up, let that TV warm up before the picture comes on. Give it time. Results are the same. It just takes a little more time to get there. And, as always, we thank you for spending some of your day with us.